This video is not meant for children and is brought to you by support from Patreon. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Mace Dralix, and this is Stellaris Empires. We are right back. We left off here on the select screen because we are going to select a new empire this time. Today we have the Raven Colonality. I have, of course, chose to do these as a alien pronunciation of an alien word because fun reasons. We have a despotic empire, which is imperial. However, that doesn't explain everything. What will explain everything is me. So let's start. Today I, I decided to go with a fungus empire, and uh, because they grow on you, like a fungus. Uh, this particular one is fungoid, and it's this bottom left one. And I kind of went with something humanoid, but also kind of horrible. And uh, yeah, it, it's the idea is because of the origin of our hegemony, our hegemony, or however that's pronounced. And I know I pronounce things wrong all the time. Uh, is that they make friends. And so it's kind of like the Blort who want to make friends. These guys actually do it, though. So, the Ra Raven commonality. The Raven, Raven's Raven. The Raven grew from a collection of fungus, and as such feel a natural sense to be very inclusive to all. Raised up and enlightened from this primordial fungal state, they've proven to be an excellent asset. Oop. There we go. Haven't touched this in a while, so some things need to be picked out, and we're going to do that while we go through. Uh, nameless is Fungal 4, because uh, just Duke, Mort, Glump, Ugog, Glarp, Glam. It's just so gloopy, and I love it for this gross but stupidly friendly empire. The traits I picked are Nomadic, because... Uh, pop growth and immigration is important. Natural sociologists, because sociology research is important. Slow breeders, because we're going to do all the nomadic stuff. It really doesn't matter. Our empire is going to be a blended thing anyway. So these guys being slow on their own, it doesn't matter. And adaptive, because habitability matters. The na I named the store Luminous and uh, Pseudo Horiza is a name of a type of mushroom and I can't remember why I picked that but I did. I ended up going with alpine preference uh, only because it seemed to like match the fungal growth uh, of in the city in its appearance back there. And, you know, it looks pretty nice. I think so, especially with the uh, room choice. City appearance, we went with, of course, fungoid cities. And room number four, because it's got this big open window, the uh, iconography is there, and, you know, other other reasons. But it looks good. It looks very good. Uh, we went the Hegemon origin. The civilization established early contact with their immediate alien neighbors. Gradually, over the span of a century, they masterminded the birth of an interstellar union in which they could have a, a dominant role. Leader of a hege hegemony federation, guaranteed habitable worlds are placed with federation members, diplomatic traditions, the federation, we already have some uh, diplomacy things already filled in, and that is great. Uh, we have some restrictions, which we're not going to need to worry about this particular time. We went with the diplomatic core because envoys are good, diplomatic weight is fantastic, trust cap is good. And improved relations plus 75% is incredibly powerful. And free haven again, pop growth from immigration 15%, immigration pull 50%, worker happiness 5%. Where previously we're like, no, we gotta watch out for our pops this time because we're hege hegemony. It's less of a problem, so we can just kind of spread out and let other people spread in. I went with the Imperial for the reduced number of times we have to do an election stuff. Plus, uh, influence from power projection, good. 
A edict fund plus five is good, and resources from jobs ten percent, very good. Need to say we want to be a fanatic Zetophile with more envoys, and if we happen to come across some pre-FTL civilizations, that's good. We can elevate them and have them join the hegemony. And authoritarian uh, monthly influence, good. Worker pop resource output, good. And I think. Okay, no, this is the only one I think has to be some degree of xenophile. We were going to take that anyway. All right, advisor voice. I may be an artificial intelligence, but I share your enthusiasm for seeking out fellow organic intelligences among the stars. See, these guys are just so friendly, and the translator is so nice. Empire, the Raven, commonality, because let's find what makes us all in common, right? The flag, because now we're in the fun with flags thing. Primary color black, because uh, when I did it the other way, it looks very bad. And uh, primary color black, secondary color yellow, black and yellow, very good color combination. One of my favorites. Went with the uh, ornate uh, person going out because we are reaching out to our friends. And with the background, that is a, just a solid stripe across. It's just a kind of like a hug. We are united, horizontally, arms out. You can see where that all comes in together. Not my favorite flag, but man, it does work. Ship appearance. Uh, again, we are going with fungoid, and they look really good, especially in this black. It gives them this uh, really good chromey reflective quality on some areas, and it's just beautiful. Yeah, another reason why we don't want to uh, flip the colors. Doop. I mean, the flag, not that bad, but the yellow does, doesn't come through like it should. So, I'm just going to put that back to the way I found it. Much, much better. I have ruler appearance, color variant 8, because to bring out that yellow they got. Clothing 2 of 5, because, you know, we don't want too fancy, but we want to be clothed. Uh... Emperor or Crown Prince and uh, inter interdeterminate or indeterminate sex is fine. And this one, Lomper, just kind of rolled up naturally. So I'm like, that's fine. Ruler Trite, Spycraft. Uh, because we have so many envoys, we can do so much Spycraft. And why not have a bonus to it? But focus on the diplomacy style traditions first. So we are diplomatic, nomadic, natural sociologists with a free haven, authoritarian, adaptive, fanatic, xenophile, hegemon. Why don't we get that started and we can see how we're going to roll on this one because the other two groups you have to start with, you get no control over. Federation formed. Decades ago, when our first crude sublight probes visited star systems near our own, we discovered the presence of two distinct alien civilizations. Like us, they were on the verge of developing practical interstellar travel, but their governments were weak and disorganized. Recognizing that their strength could add to our own, we began to gradually push for a political union under the supervision that we would unite our three civilizations. There was resistance at first, but eventually the benefits of sharing our leadership and am ambition became too obvious for even them to ignore. A new order has been established. The Raven Commonality has been chosen to lead the new president of the Cosmic Entente. Oh, okay. So as you see, we actually have a federation to start. Uh, and in this particular case, we've got members who are, uh, well, <laughs> there's us. They match, and they match. Good, good. It's not a total um, cluster something or other. Yeah. So, being that we already have a federation in place, you're going to want to be careful on what choices you make just in case you do happen to lose. Because right now it's diplomatic weight, and that's we're starting off at 103, but select the right leader, get some... Uh, Get some envoys going. We have six envoys to start, and that's just the beginning. We got more to come. So, you know. Oh, you're loud. Okay, so we could like 
establish an embassy, improve relations, all sorts of other things to give us more diplomatic weight. Do that. Do the technologies that give you more diplomatic weight, because that's the thing that's going to give you the most power. And if you have the uh, this going when the galaxy unifies and forms the Galactic Senate, you will have so much more power because you've got these guys going with you. Now, one thing you definitely have to watch out for is they will expand as you will expand. so And they will expand around you. So, either expand extremely quickly or don't mind being hemmed in. Those are your re those are really your only two options. Let them be the let them be your shield or you expand quickly. And because diplomacy was yours as mine and mine is yours, them expanding out isn't necessarily the worst idea. And with that being said, here's where I'm going to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, you know what to do, and that's to like, comment, watch three or four more of these videos to show the, the uh, algorithm that you really do like me, maybe check out my Patreon page, and of course subscribe. It's a little click for you, but a really big deal for me, and I greatly appreciate everyone who does. And with that being said, I shall see you all on the next one. And I'd like to give a special shout out to all my patrons who helped make these videos possible. Aaron Smith, Brian Pelfrey, Chris Armstrong, Dennis Detman, Harry Thompson, and Mark Milius. Thank you all so much for your contributions. I wouldn't have this channel without you. Thank you very much.